There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world Y'all, hey, it's your girl A, and today's video is being brought to you by Lavi Hair. Girl, what's up, y'all? What's up, everybody? So y'all already see this wig. She is nicely curled. Look at them curls bouncing on your ass. Bounce that on my ass. Okay, girl, listen. Okay. Anyway, I went ahead and prepared this wig already. It came already with an elastic band sewn up in there, okay? But I did take the liberty of bleaching it, and girl, it got all the combs up in it. When I tell you it have all the combs, they got four combs. They trying to make sure your wig stay on. So it is a little bit of speckling of the bleach. Like some of the bleach did run through some of the lace, but no big deal. Because that's what this concealer stick is for to make it look all right. All right. Okay. Now this wig is really, really nice. It is Swiss lace, baby. Do you all see that lace? It is so transparent, girl. It is so Swissy like it is doing what it's supposed to do. Now it is a 13 by four or six. I can't remember. But I'll definitely link it below. This is full of bountiful bounty, honey. Nice and dense, nice full volume, 180 virgin hair, okay? And listen, now you know the wigs come stock ready, which means sometimes they don't fit properly. So y'all see what I'm doing right here, making sure that it fit properly because it is over the ears a little bit, as y'all see. So I just part it and cut it, and it's okay. It don't take anything away from the wig, okay? Now, like I said, I did bleach it, and unfortunately, some of the bleach did seep onto the unit, but no big deal because that's what you got hair dye for and a good spoolie brush, and girl, you're good to go. But you know, the one thing you, de you definitely need to do is cut the lace off because we really want to make this look as natural as possible. Now, girl, look, I'm going to be using this got to be high instant hold today only because I ain't got no more Aussie instant freeze, and girl, y'all know how I feel about my Aussie. I always use it. But I'm going to try to use up the products that I have already because I've had this hairspray for a minute. And I'm not saying it's the best and I'm not saying it's the worst. But, girl, I'm going to put four layers on today only because it doesn't get as tacky as my Aussie does. Like, Aussie be tacky, tacky on the first go. And this really wasn't doing that, but it did give a good hold. So I did decide to put four layers on. And y'all see, this is the fourth layer right here. And it's my final layer, too. So what I do with the final layer, I always make sure to put it on wet. Like you see, I will allow the lace to just go on to the hairspray while the hairspray is wet because baby, that's where you get all the melt from. When I say all the melts, I mean all the mizelts, okay? It helps the lace disappear. It helps it seep into your skin. It helps it look like it's growing out of your scalp. It helps it look natural as possible. Girl, it's giving scalpage. It's giving whatever you want it to give plus natural, okay? Now, this hair is very nice. It's not like a very shiny kind of type of texture. It's not so sleek. It's it's more or less giving me like kind of like a, uh, I want to say like a, like a, not a dull sheen, but not so shiny. And that's cool. You know, the luster in it is kind of like medium. You know what I'm saying? So I did notice that it was a little bit of a dryness to it. So you definitely want to make sure you put a good conditioner in any wig that you have washed, okay? Now, I went ahead and, and curled it off camera because I know y'all don't want to be seeing all of that. Plus, I'm pretty sure y'all know how to curl hair. But these curls did come out really, really nice, baby. Like, these are some nice-ass curls. I curled it the day prior. And these curls, when I say these curls, girl, these curls came out very, very nice. They held together. And all you seen in the very beginning, you seen it had, like, one of those little nets on it. I don't, sometimes I'll keep them in the clips, but I find it much easier if you just curl it and just let the curls be without the clip, but tie yourself a good net and that will hold the curls like I showed you in the beginning. And that's all I did. I did use my new wand system, my new curling wand system, but I like these curls. It, it kind of made me feel like an old retro type. And just to get away from the flyaways, I did use the hairspray for that. Girl, I love a good hairspray where you can use it for installing and also holding the curls. Now, y'all know this ain't my favorite hairspray, but I'm going to use it because, like I said, I'm going to use what I have. Now, let's go ahead and remove this, um, you know, melting band. So that way, look, it looked decent, right? Okay, it looked real, real decent. Now, you do see a little bit of redness right there. That's because I ain't got no makeup on those areas, but very decent. 
And you know, I need the sideburn hair. So I'm gonna just use my favorite, favorite mousse. It's not really a mousse, but it is a mousse, but it's supposed to be only for curly hairs, but I like it for any type of hairs because it's thick mousse. It don't, you know, disappear. It don't get all watery. It gives a good hold. It ain't, it ain't sticking down, but it gives a good hold. So make sure you get some of that Mark Anthony's. I say go to Amazon, but you know, if you want to go to Target and get it, then go ahead and spend enough. They might not have it. So I always get my hair products from Tar uh, from Amazon. You know what I'm saying? I always say get it from Amazon. But yes, girl, look at this. This is some nice hair. It came out really, really cute, baby. Do it like it's your day. Okay, girl, what? And you know what I'm saying? Like, even if it has a little bit of extra bleach on it, girl, all you got to do is take yourself a good spoolie brush, you know, a mascara wand, and get you some hair dye and just brush it right onto those areas where the bleach might have seeped through. No big deal. The, the wig still look cute. It fit good. The density is gorgeous. I think this is like 22 inches. Girl, I can't be remembering everything. But I've actually worked with Labby Hair a few times. And I will say this. They do be having some nice ass wigs. I ain't even gonna front. Did I curse enough in this video? I think I did. But that's probably because I was so excited. Because look how nice the hair look. Now, it might look a little bit of brassy in some areas. Because you know what, girl? Honestly, I did forget to put the blue, the purple shampoo. That's my fault. I don't never forget nothing. But I think hitting 50... I might be forgetting a little bit here and there. But you know what? It is what it is. I'm going to still come through for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you think about this unit. I'm going to leave all the information in the description box down below. Make sure you share this and make sure you like this, okay? I love y'all. Stay diva and divalicious. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.